Hello everyone, it's Helder here, and today I wanted to go ahead and review this uh, military-issued mosquito netting for your bunk. Uh, once again, excuse my hasty setup here in my backyard, uh, but for the purposes of demonstration, I just wanted to tie this little guideline and uh, set it up just so that I could uh, review the product and uh, share some information with you. Now this mosquito netting might be something that we don't even really consider when we're uh, thinking about our go bag or our survival bag or wherever the case may be. But uh, once again, for those of you that have been out there trekking, camping, and it's during those hot seasons or wet seasons where there's just critters all over the place buzzing through your ears while you're trying to get some rest or while you're trying to get some sleep, uh, you would know the value of having a uh, quality mosquito netting to uh, protect you and uh, put you at ease a little bit. And in my case, uh, a lot of times, even for my pets, uh, they enjoy uh, getting that little break. All right, so if I'm out in the field and I'm putting uh, insect repellent on me and things like that, a lot of times I don't want to put that on my dogs, uh, even though it's a homemade recipe that I use that I'll share with you later. Um, it's still something that uh, the least amount of stuff that I could put on them, you know, the better. Uh, and uh, I am, once again, it's a uh, uh, way above my pay grade. I'm not a veterinarian, so I don't really know what's great for them and what's not. And of course, when we start research things on Google, you'll get, uh, you know, complete opposite sides of the spectrum. One saying yes, and the other one saying no. Now, once again, this is military issued. Uh, so the quality is there. Uh, it uh, can stand the test of time. I have other uh, mosquito nettings, and it's just nowhere near uh, the same quality. All right, but it is less price, it is less bulky, it is smaller. Uh, so once again, if the application is right and I'm by myself and I know I don't have to worry about anybody else or even my dogs or other pets, uh, then I might bring the smaller one out there because it'll do the job. But if I'm looking for quality and just something that I end up keeping on me all the time, uh, just in case, uh, I usually end up uh, preferring going, of course, with the, uh, the military issued uh, version. So one of the issues that we face uh, when we're setting up our go bag, setting up our survival kit, whatever the case may be, is uh, am I actually going to use this when I'm out in the field? The issue that we have with something like uh, mosquito netting is that if you don't have it, it could ruin the whole experience, right? When you're out there trekking or trying to have a good time or trying to get some rest. Um, if you don't need it, you just brought a, a pretty bulky item uh, light, okay, because we're looking at about two pounds, but, you know, light is also relevant compared to what else you have in your kit. So now it's like, do I want to lug this bulky setup and at the same time might not end up using it? So we always have to think outside the box and say, okay, well, what other application can I have for this and is it worth me bringing? These are the questions you need to ask yourself. So this is when thinking outside the box really comes into play. And uh, once again, you have to think outside the box because we all have completely different setups depending on our needs, our desires, our focus, our budget, all of that other stuff. Now, I know and you've seen me review these bags before uh, from the camping trail, and I always have this smaller version of it in my pack, uh, in my go bag because it folds up into nothing, weighs nothing, and the uses are plentiful. All right, so what I end up doing and what I end up thinking is, okay, I have this bulky netting, okay, that I just completely shoved in there. It's only two pounds, so I'm not as worried about the weight and the uh, portability, right? But I am worried about the bulk. So what I end up thinking is, okay, what else could I, would I be able to use this for? And once again, this solution is not just for mosquito netting. I use it for, for other facets depending on where I am and uh, what gear I have on me. But what I'll end up doing is, as you saw, I stuffed the actual... Um, mosquito netting in there folded this up okay hastily just to show you for demonstration purposes and now what i end up doing is i have this cool little soft bag okay that i'm gonna have with me anyway i'll end up uh grabbing a t-shirt okay little plug here for chris and i will put my bag inside of my t-shirt And I have a great little pillow to rest on without having to bring an extra pillow in gear that I had with me already. And if I do need my mosquito netting, because we go out there and we're getting bit right, like crazy or stung like crazy, I know that I have my mosquito netting with me. So one thing that I want you to keep in mind is, let's say, with this actual uh, netting itself, 
on the corners, all right, there's some tie-offs, let's say every few feet, but you're still gonna have this lip that's pretty much exposed. And now with the wind blowing things around and whatever the case may be, you're gonna have uh, more critters are gonna get in there. You're always gonna get some. What we're trying to do is limit it uh, so that, uh, you know, it, it's more contained. And uh, one thing that I like to do is uh, to use whatever I have around me. So for purposes of this demonstration, right, just putting a piece of wood on there, uh, that's not gonna cause any damage, let's say, to, the, to your actual netting. Uh, that's a good thing about this being military issued. It's made uh, much more durable than uh, your average mosquito netting that you're gonna get out there. It's also a little bit more expensive, but once again, just like most things, you do get what you pay for, uh, especially in this case. But not only do I like to put whatever I have here, and let's say if I don't have these type of um, wood sticks, whatever, you know, just keep in mind whatever you have around you, rocks without jagged edges, right, putting them down. But what I also like to do is to get the uh, natural insect repellent and spray it actually on whatever I'm holding down, all right? So that way I'm not gonna damage anything, cause any kind of uh, chemical uh, reaction, right, that's gonna destroy or, or make uh, my netting weaker. So I'll end up putting, uh, putting it on here. And the fact that it is a natural recipe, it's okay if my dogs get exposed to it, right? That are always running around. Uh, they're, they're with me as often as possible, as most of you know, uh, when I'm out in the field. But I also want to look out for their well-being because I'm out there, you know, I'm working on a hundred different missions usually and uh, not always keeping an eye on them. So they're doing their own thing. So I want to be able to right be prepared and take preemptive measures not only for myself not only for my comfort but also for their comfort and their well-being uh, so i do like taking that spray the insect repellent the natural insect repellent that uh, I'll, I'll share with you as i mentioned uh, as far as the recipe in the blog post and i will spray it on not only the uh the uh hold thing whatever's holding down right in this case wood uh, but it could be rocks or whatever the case may be. So I like actually spraying that because the critters will smell it and move away. But I also like spraying it around the perimeter, all right? Also, when I'm setting up my base here, you know, before I even lay down any kind of sleeping gear, before I even do this kind of setup, I'm going to clean out everything underneath as much as possible, right? Because then you might just end up trapping the actual mosquitoes, flies, critters in there with you, you know, thinking you're doing a good justice. But guess what? They're already in jail with you, you know, so you want to make sure that you take care of that uh, before you actually set up your, uh, your, your, your gear. At the multi-purpose aspect of this, of whether you're gonna add this to your gear or not, you need to answer those questions. Uh, is it worth the weight? Is it worth the bulk? Is the area that you're planning on spending time in uh, a place that's laden by these mosquitoes, uh, by these type of uh, critters and bugs and all that other stuff? Because keep in mind, a lot of times when we want our rest and relaxation, might not even be the fact that they're stinging you. But the fact that they're buzzing your ears all night while you're trying to get some quality rest because you do have a mission in the morning or whatever you need to uh, to accomplish uh you got you not to, you need to keep that into consideration right peace of mind rest recovery restoration that is huge if you plan on boating well in a survival situation once again this is helder hope you found this review useful